Welcome to Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. We are joined by Ron Galpern. He is a candidate for the Office of Controller in the City of Los Angeles. The runoff election will be held on May 21st. Congratulations, sir, on a tremendous victory. You came in Thank first you. in the primary. What went right? Uh, I think a lot of things went right. Thank you very much, and it's great to be here. Please. Uh, I think people in Los Angeles are ready for a change. Right. Uh, the uh, finances of the city are a mess, as I think everybody knows, and we can't keep on doing the same thing. So what can the controller do to try to rectify the city's finances? It's not a position on the city council. It's really kind of an outside office looking in. Exactly. Well, the controller can do an awful lot of things. First of all, there are audits that the controller is required to do and can do, and those are both financial as well as performance audits. Right. Taking a look at what other cities, what other counties, what private industry is doing and how to do it better. And let me ask you about the audits. Uh, I've obviously spoken with Laura Chick, with Wendy Gruel. These are prior controllers, and they put out some beautiful audits, got a lot of headlines. The problem is the controller can't demand action. There's nothing in the law that says if an audit comes down and finds this error, you got to fix it. So how, if you are elected, change that vernacular? Uh, there are a lot of ways I think that you can see that the recommendations actually get put in place. And let me give you an example. I've actually uh, chaired two of the city's financial commissions, one the Commission on Revenue Efficiency, and we looked at the issue of parking occupancy tax, mm. which is a big source of revenue to the city, and it's what you and I pay every time we go to a parking lot, mm -hmm. and then that money gets stolen. So there's been audit after audit, recommendation after recommendation, nothing has happened. So what I recommended is something really simple, and that is that there be an ordinance that requires that the parking operators also accept debit and credit cards and eventually cell phone payments. That'll reduce the cash that goes through the system, and you take the cash out of the system and you increase compliance markedly. But what do you do, and it sounds like a fine plan, to somehow use your bully pulpit to get the city council, get the mayor, get the general managers to listen to your audits. It's something I've thought about for many years. Really affect, I mean, I remember Laura Chick with all the LAUSD uh, budgets next mm -hmm. to her, short Laura Chick, and it was great, and then she couldn't demand enforcement. Well, one problem that the city has had is that the chair of the Audits and Governmental Efficiency Committee of the uh, L.A. City Council has been my opponent, Dennis Zine. Right. And there have gone a lot of good audits and a lot of good recommendations to die. Mm -hmm. And that's, of course, going to change. But also, it's really an ability to work with everybody who's in the city and to work with department managers sometimes before you do an audit, right. saying, you know what, you're not going to look so good, so what can we do to fix it now? As you've been campaigning over the last several months, I'm sure you've met many Angelinos. Many will say, what's controller? But others will have a real sense of what they want for their city. What have they been saying to you? I think people want a fair shake. And that is a couple different things. People are paying their taxes and they're working hard and they want to know that that money is being used well. And there's an awful lot of waste in the city. And there's a lot of opportunities not just to fix that waste, but to use assets of the city in a much better way. For example, we've got potholes everywhere in the city, and yet the city actually owns two asphalt plants that we can be using to even make some money off of. Uh, we have lots of opportunity to treat our businesses in a better way and our residents. And what's interesting is Los Angeles voted in favor of Prop 30 by overwhelming numbers in November, increasing their taxes on the sales side. And yet just in the last cycle in March, they voted against a city increase sales tax. So what is that telling you? Well, it's telling you a couple things. First of all, people are willing to pay more, but only if they know it's really going to be used well. And there was no faith that that was the case. Also, the numbers of what our budget deficit are or aren't were a lot less than clear as they I were understand. being put out there. Okay, his name is Ron Galper, and he is a candidate for the Office of Controller in the City of Los Angeles. That election will be held on May 21st. My name is Brad Palmer. You're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.